Guys, it's me, it's Queen Set Haru, and thank you for joining me for another exciting edition of Ask an Aquarius. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and smack the bell. Now, I was talking to um, a woman the other day, and she said to me something along the lines of, oh, Aquarius uh, never want to make commitments. And it's pretty true. And um, I thought to myself, I said, you know what? I got to tell my Aquarius the next time I speak to them that they don't have to. I want you guys to know that you don't have to make a commitment to anyone. You don't have to make a romantic commitment and be married or be in a relationship if you don't want to. People act like it's a given that you will one day get married and have kids, but it's not. And it's okay if you don't want to. Getting married and having children is kind of like having a business partner. You can start a business by yourself, you can start it with a partner, or you can start it with a group of people. Now, it is easier to have more people in a business as far as, you know, more people to do the work, more people to put and invest money and time, but it's not always easy to decide on things you guys want to do and how to run the business and what goals the business has. The less people you have, the easier it is to come up with those kind of decisions. It's the same thing in life. You don't have to have a business partner if you don't want to. If you don't want to get married, you don't have to get married. If you don't want to have children, you don't have to have children. I was talking to someone the other day in South Korea. Certain cultures, such as Korean, have a tendency to get married. Typically, if you ask a Korean person if they're married and they're at a certain age, they're typically married. Well, over the past 10 years, the elders have been telling me that this is changing. Apparently, younger Koreans are deciding not to have children sometimes and not to get married sometimes. Some of the elders don't really like it that much, but it is happening. It's a trend that's been happening. So when I talked to this one particular elder about it, I was told that basically there was a time period when it was just taken for granted that everybody was going to get married and have kids. And this is the same way in many other cultures, including American society. People take it for granted that you're going to grow up. And we all get this fairy tale. You're going to grow up. You're going to meet this charming prince or this charming princess. They're going to love you. And you're going to, you know, flee off to the castle somewhere. Have some beautiful little kids and live happily ever after. Everybody feeds you that fairy tale from every different culture. But what's happening is, is that we're starting to realize that it is indeed a fairy tale and that everybody does not have to get married. Everybody's not built like that. Everybody doesn't enjoy coupling with another person. And Aquarius are often these kinds of people. It's very common for us not to couple or to have, like I said before, alternative types of relationships. That's why you see a lot of Aquarius in open relationships, polygamous relationships, malignant or um, relationships where they live one place and they're lower live somewhere else, long distance even, or next door. You know, you see a lot of this with Aquarius. In Aquarius, we often get shamed for it the same way the young girl the young Korean girl was telling me that her elders were shaming her because she doesn't want to get married. You don't have to get married. It's not a duty. It's not a responsibility. It's a choice. You choose if you want that type of relationship in your life. Those relationships can be wonderful. They can be very beneficial or they can be not for you. Either way, it's up to you to make that decision. So don't let other people shame you into making commitments or shame you into getting married. The only thing I ask you to do is be honest. If you don't want to make commitments, if you don't want to get married, just be honest with it. Don't lie to your lovers and to the people that come into your life. Tell them up front, this is how I live. This is how I want to live. And please don't get with me and think you're going to change my mind and be mad later. That's what I tell women when they meet me. I'm like, look, I'm in a space in my life where I am trying to figure things out romantically. And if you want to ride, if you want to hang out, that's what's up. But please don't come with an agenda. You know, come with an open mind or don't come at all. <laughs> you know, I let them know. I don't know where I want to go with my relationship status. I might get married again. I might not. 
So I want them to know up front so they won't be thinking, oh, she'll change her mind. Because that's what people do. They get with you thinking they can change your mind or you will change your mind eventually on your own. And it may or and it may not happen. So Aquarius, just be honest about your feelings. If you don't want to make a commitment, be honest about that, but be honest up front. Don't get into a relationship with somebody and manipulate them. And then when it's time to make a commitment, be like, uh, I don't think so. Tell them the truth. You don't have to do any of those things. I mean, some of us are just not built like that. Like me, I like traveling the world. I like going different places. I really don't want to be tied down. I don't want to be tied to one country, one place, one home, one anything. I want to just do what I want to do when I want to do it. So there are a lot of people who feel this way. Some are Aquarius and some are not. And that's okay. Your life is yours. And everybody might not understand that. Your parents might not like it. Your, 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 your brothers and sisters might feel some type of way. But this is not their life. It's yours. Aquarius, you have to decide what kind of relationships you want to have. You have to decide who you want to be with or not. It's up to you. You get to decide that. So nobody can tell you, oh, you have to have a business partner. You have to have a uh, board of directors. Nobody can tell you how to create your company, how to create your empire, how to create your life. It's up to you how you create your life, Aquarius. And don't let other people shame you into creating the life that they want. Create the life that you want. Okay? I see a lot of this going on, especially with Aquarius. I had a Sagittarius have the nerve to had the nerve to say something to me about uh, not making commitments. Had the nerve to try to shame me for not making commitments. And I was like, you a Sagittarius? Sagittarius are known for running. Are you serious? But he is in a situation that he's not happy with, by the way. And misery loves company. So he's trying to tell me how I'm wrong for not making a commitment when he's made a commitment, obviously, to the wrong person. Mm -mm. Look, I am 41 years old. I'm not letting nobody tell me how to live my life. I'm not letting nobody tell me who to be with. I'm not letting tell, nobody tell me who, to be with somebody or not. And that's where we have to come to Aquarius, the space where we make our own decisions. Because if you let them, the rest of the world will have you caught up in their fantasies and their dreams. And they won't even care if you're happy or not. They just care if your version of happiness is the version they want for you. And that's bullshit. Okay? I hope it helps. See you later.